I have been talking a lot about people's ability to visualize um, or having an inner monologue on my account here recently. And I think that I've missed the most important. The most important point is everyone is different and there's no right way to, I don't know, think <laughs> or to be. Some people visualize, some people um, hear things, they have an inner monologue. Um, and some people don't have either one of those, which actually that one kind of freaks me out. Are y'all okay? Um, but really at the end of the day, it doesn't matter which of them you have and don't have. You can still tap into your guidance. You can meditate. You can see your past lives. You can do a past life regression. All of it. I had a client book a session one time specifically because I talk about being able to do past life regressions on people who don't visualize. The number one trait, the number one thing that you need to be able to do is trust yourself. If you trust yourself, I can guide you to see your past lives. Anyway, and that's why she booked a session with me, and she went through, <clears throat> saw this beautiful lifetime. I think she was on either Mars or Venus. It was a very, like, futuristic, space-y-ish lifetime, and what struck, what struck me the most about... What struck me the most about um, her regression was that she was very, she had very vivid details, particularly about the, the clothing that was worn on this planet. It was like this white, I don't know, space suit was the best way to describe it. But there were bright red shoes, very detailed about these bright red, I don't know, sneaker type shoes. And I asked her after the session, I said, did you see those? Like, did you physically see yourself with red shoes on? And she said, no, it was just a knowingness. She just knew that she had red shoes on. You can just feel the energy. You just know what it is that your higher self is trying to tell you. And a lot of my clients are just channeling during their sessions. They don't get into a deep level of trance because they don't need to. They just open up their bodies. They, they're they a vessel for this energy and information to come through. If you can be open, if you can trust, if you can trust yourself to just repeat what it is that you are having the urge to say. It's not even seeing it. You don't have to trust what you're seeing. You just have to trust what you want to say. And that trips a lot of people up. A lot of people start to see these amazing past lives, like you were, you know, they, they, they were a dragon, they were a fairy, they were in a castle, they were etc. And they're like, oh, I little old me, I couldn't have done that. Surely this is wrong and this is my ego. Scratch all that. Just trust yourself. And if you trust yourself, it doesn't matter <clears throat> if you're seeing the things, if you're hearing the things, or if you just know the things. Just trust yourself.